very good evening everyone and a warm Malaysian welcome. I'm Gabriella and I'm delighted to be hosting the second edition of Frost & Sullivan Institute's Enlightened Growth Leadership Virtual Awards Ceremony. To our viewers joining us from around the world, thank you for being with us as we honor and celebrate the best of the best in Enlightened Growth Leadership. This evening, we will be recognizing those companies that have not only demonstrated excellence in business practice, but have made and delivered on a firm commitment to sustainability and innovating to zero. These companies embody aspirational ideals beyond the simple goal of generating profits. But before we get started, you know the drill. If you want to learn more about the Frost & Sullivan Institute, connect with us on LinkedIn or follow us on Instagram. If you'd like updates delivered straight to your feed, be sure to like our page on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell icon to not miss a single thing. As we kickstart the second edition of the Enlightened Growth Leadership Awards, a quote by Jane Goodall, noted primatologist, comes to mind. What you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. The companies we are about to honor tonight have decided the kind of difference they want to make to their industries, to their ecosystems, and to the world. They're the wind that's carrying the kind of change that will make this world a better place. Each recipient has demonstrated excellence in growth and is making strides toward addressing some of the most pressing challenges we face today. To deliver the opening address on this momentous occasion, please join me in welcoming David Frickstad, Executive Director of Frost & Sullivan Institute and Chairman of Frost & Sullivan, joining us all the way from California. David, the floor is yours. Hello, let me take this opportunity to wish all of you a huge congratulations on winning this year's Enlightened Growth Leadership Award. The award is really significant in the sense that it goes way beyond CSR and ESG, and it really reflects that you and your leadership team are moving the company and the world in the right direction. Each year we look for the world's largest companies. We do this because we're looking for the companies that are shaping the global economy. These are the companies that have the brand, the reputation with customers, the employee base, and the investors, that if we can inspire all of these people inside your ecosystem to help move in the right direction, we're really accomplishing something great. This award allows us and allows your team to show gratitude towards your investors, your customers, your employees for making this a reality. More importantly, we want to inspire the entire global economy to follow your leadership, to follow your best practices on what you're doing in terms of the Aligned Growth Leadership Award. This award provides some key opportunities. First, I highly recommend to every CEO to share this award with all of the employees with a large expression of gratitude. Second, you have all the investors that are supporting your continued growth and development, moving this in the right direction. And third, of course, are the customers. And most importantly, we want to inspire the entire world, all the players in the global economy, to be moving their companies, their investment, their careers, to help the world move into a sustainable direction. This is why I think the Enlightened Growth Leadership Awards are such a powerful element of what we're doing at the Frost and Sullivan Institute. To create that movement towards a sustainable future, we need to recognize the great companies like yours and tell their story every single day, every week, every month, throughout the entire year. We hope you join us in telling your story on how you're making this a reality. If you'd like to learn more about the Frost and Sullivan Institute and what we're trying to achieve with Innovation at Zero, please visit our website at frostandsullivaninstitute.org. 
Here you'll see the entire uh, global spectrum of all the problems and challenges that we're dedicating research teams to solving, that we're looking for the best practices, that we're looking to uh, recognize those leaders, those technologies, those companies with recognition and to tell their story to the rest of the world. We want to inspire the change required to create a sustainable planet. Now on the website, you'll also see opportunities if you'd like to be a donor, or if you'd like to sponsor a research track on a specific problem. You might even want to volunteer as an analyst or any part of our company. We have a global network that is focused on Innovation Zero. I would love it if you would join and volunteer to help make this a reality in our lifetimes. It's a perfect opportunity to take everything we've learned in business, from the science and technology, the methodologies of how we solve problems, how we create strategies, implement strategies, how we tell stories, market our stories, inspire the world, create communities, create think tanks to solve problems. This is everything we've learned in the business community, and this is what we want to leverage at the Frost and Sullivan Institute to solve the problems. The Institute's not a charity. It's a research-based think tank with the goal of innovating to zero. If you want to leverage your career, your skills, your knowledge, your network to move the world towards a more sustainable environment, please join us. Volunteer, donate, get involved. Let's talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, David, for sharing your vision and getting all of us better acquainted with the Frost and Sullivan Institute. This is a special recognition, and in the true spirit of Thanksgiving, this event is about thanking all the companies receiving this award for all the good work they've been doing. Keep inspiring. Now, before we get started, I would like to give a special shout out and express my gratitude to our main presenters and award recipients coming in from eight different countries and 17 different cities. Thank you all for taking the time of your busy schedules to join us. Now, it's with great pleasure that I introduce our first presenter for this evening. Joining us all the way from Dubai, please give a warm welcome to Robin Jofi, partner Frost & Sullivan. Thank you, Gabriella. Good evening, everybody. I'm so excited to see you all here, and it's my pleasure to kickstart the ceremony. Headquartered in Japan, this award recipient is a designer, developer, manufacturer of semiconductor test solutions. Not only has this company been able to mitigate the volatility in the semiconductor market, and wow, we all know how that's been going, but it has also engaged in strategic acquisitions to augment its growth. Committed to sustainability, they are making concerted efforts towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions and increasing the use of renewable energy to 70% by 2030. This is amazing. The company has demonstrated enlightened growth by ensuring steady earnings with an unwavering focus on making strides towards innovating emissions and inequality to zero. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Adventist. Omedodo gozaimasu. With us today from Adventist is Yoshiaki Yoshida, Representative, Director, President and CEO. Hello, I am Yoshiaki Yoshida. I am honored to be representing Adventist Corporation on this occasion and privileged to be recognized by Frost and Sullivan for enlightened growth leadership. Adventist the world's foremost supplier of automated test equipment to the semiconductor industry has been defined by enduring relationships built upon reliability and integrity since 1954. It is why leading chipmakers around the globe trust Advantest, 
with testing their complex devices. But our business does not begin or end there. Our management philosophy sets sustainability as our path forward. We are on track to deliver on our commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emission by 60% by 2030. We are also dedicated to addressing social issues related to human rights, including diversity, anti-discrimination, and fair labor practices as both a top-down and bottom-up effort. Now, against the backdrop of diversifying applications for semiconductors, the importance of ICs in our social infrastructure is ever more apparent. Ahead, we see a viable company that will continue to make contributions to a sustainable society. Again, thank you to Frost and & Sullivan and to the other companies recognized today for their valuable work towards creating a safer, healthier, and more responsible world. Thank you. Congratulations. Back to you, Robin, to introduce our next award recipient. Our next recipient lies at the heart of technological advancement and innovation within the global supply chain and procurement network in Japan. As an online trading platform for goods used in manufacturing and construction, it has obtained sustained growth over the last 20 years through a combination of strong marketing strategies and aggressive but measured approach towards geographical expansion and a steady increase in its product portfolio. Establishing an internal sustainability committee, the company prioritizes the environment, the circular economy, and diversity and inclusion in its operations. Having reduced its energy consumption by 1% yearly, the company believes in leveraging technology to reduce waste and decrease consumption of packaged materials. For its commitment to responsible growth, Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Monataro. Omedito gozaimasu. Here to receive the award for Monotaro is Masaya Suzuki, President and CEO. I'm Greg Tusan, Frostan Saribyan Institute, for recognizing Monotaro for enlightened growth leadership in 2022. My name is Masaya Suzuki, and I am the President and CEO of Monotaro in Japan. Monotaro was established in 2000 as an e-commerce company selling indirect material to business users in Japan. Through this business, we have been making effort to help our customers improve their productivity in indirect material procurement operations. The primary value we provide to our customers is time. Most of our team have been working on reducing the time that customers spend finding products, placing orders, waiting to receive products, and making payment. Our customers can use the time that save in indirect material procurement operations for improving their business. By expanding the value we provide to our customers, Monotaro grew annually by about 20% for the last three consecutive years. This growth resulted from effort made by all of our team members. Challenges do not always result in success, and sometimes we do fail. We, however, have a culture in which we acknowledge each other's failures so that we can move forward with recovery. I believe this mindset is the engine for motor growth, and it is also a source of great pride for us. As our business grows, the responsibilities we take on for sustainable society grow as well. Five prioritized action areas have been set and we are working on these areas for a sustainable society. 
with advanced technologies, a strong business model, and by overcoming the challenges we face. Montaro is committed to offering the highest convenience and the time-saving value, not only for our customers, but also to the Japanese economy, and even beyond Japan to business users overseas. Again, thank you very much for the hour. Congratulations, Team Monotaro, and thank you, Robin, for presenting the first set of awards. Our next presenter for this evening is Sei Jun Park, Country Head, Frost & Sullivan, Korea. Over to you, Sei Jun. Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, good evening from Seoul. Uh, our next recipient is a front runner in providing comprehensive biopharmaceutical solution across country research, manufacturing, and development, significantly impacting human lives. The company has invested in RNA, drug substance manufacturing capability additions in 2021 to contribute to a sustainable healthcare environment and improve the accessibility of biomedicines. As a socially responsible enterprise, the company continues to contribute to the cause of zero emissions by participating in the global collaborative effort under the Frontier 1.5D initiative. In comparison to 2020 levels, the company has pledged to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 37% based on production and energy source usage by 2025. Working toward innovating in emissions and waste to zero, the company is also maximizing recycling rates and minimizing waste generation. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Samsung Biologics. Here to receive the award for Samsung Biologics is James Choi, Executive Vice President, Chief Information and Marketing Officer. On behalf of the entire Samsung Biologics team, I'd like to extend my sincere thanks to Frost & Sullivan for presenting us with the esteemed 2022 Enlightened Growth Leadership Award. We are honored to join other leading companies being recognized for this meaningful award. And we are proud of our employees who strive to create lasting environmental, social, and economic value for our clients and patients. As a sustainable CDMO partner, we're committed to making better life for humanity through quality biomedicines. In these unprecedented times, we help deliver life-saving biomedicines, including COVID-19 vaccines and therapeutics to patients all over the world as we continue to invest and expand to fulfill unmet needs. We have also worked hard to proactively address global priorities under our ESG initiatives while securing continuous growth. We will continue to implement innovative and sound business practices throughout our value chains to build a healthier ecosystem, driving a sustainable pathway. Although the challenges facing global health remain ever-present, we found the only way to achieve enduring solutions is to make sustainability a key component of the way we work and engage with our partners and communities. To that end, we are investing in practices to mitigate the risks of climate change in the areas we impact, fostering our employees and our society's growth, health and well-being, implementing transparent and responsible business activities. Our team's driven for life mindset is not only a part of our business ethos, but it's also in our DNA and who we are as a people. Thank you again to Frost & Sullivan for this great recognition. The Samsung Biologics team will remain committed to making impactful progress for a sustainable and healthier future for all. Thank you, James. Now let me invite Stay June once more to introduce our next award recipient. One of the world's leading aqueous polymers manufacturers, our next recipient, is a diverse product portfolio catering uh, to a range of consumer and industrial needs. 
performance, elastometers, and functional solutions were two divisions that witnessed unprecedented growth in the last couple of years, landing to the company's 37% revenue growth from 2020. As a part of their vision to have net zero emissions by 2050, the company has been innovating to zero in the area of energy consumption, emissions, waste, and discrimination. Currently, over 90% of electric city consumed in their manufacturing plants and offices is sourced from renewable means. The company is fully committed to responsible growth. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Synthomore. Setting the award for Synthomer, we have with us this evening, Tim Hughes, President, Corporate Development. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to accept this award on behalf of the Synthomer Group. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Boston Sullivan Institute for arranging the event and for organising this event. We're very aware of the prestige attached to this award and also recognise the very strong field of other companies uh, who we were in the shortlist for, um, for this recognition. Synthomer is a fast-growing, specialised chemical company. Um, we have grown significantly through organic and inorganic means, and we are a company that's focused on sustainable, innovative polymer solutions. The company has grown rapidly, as I mentioned, through organic and inorganic means, and we now have over 5,000 employees operating globally. So on behalf of all of them and the hard work that they've put into um, delivering the performance of Synthema, I would like to say thank you, appreciate everybody's effort, and um, we're very proud to achieve this award. Thank you. Congratulations to Team Synthoma, and thank you, Sajun, for doing the honors. Now to present the next set of awards, please give a warm welcome to Renita Das. Partner and Senior Vice President Frost and Sullivan joining us from Dubai. Thank you, Gabriella. Good evening, everyone. Our next award recipient is a leading automotive company in the Middle East that has achieved a revenue growth of over 30%. Demonstrating responsible growth, the company has installed wastewater recycling systems at multiple factory sites. The recipient has also planned the installation of solar PV systems that will supply 40% of their site's energy demand. In their efforts to enable responsible consumerism, the company has diversified its product portfolio to include electric vehicles. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate GB Auto. With us from JB Auto is Karim Gadas, Group COO, joining us from Cairo. Thank you, Frost and Sullivan. We are incredibly honored to receive the award for Enlightened Growth Leadership 2022. This award reflects the group's efforts and dedication to ensure transformations in mobility and finance facilitate sustainability and greater inclusion in line with our vision for a livable planet. Our sustainability approach has set clear targets and commitments, each connected to one or more SDGs, and we look forward to further expanding our scope and impact. The timing of this award coincides well with COP27 that will take place in Sharm el -Sheikh. The participation of GB Auto with electric buses in the COP27 is a confirmation of GB Auto's directions towards pushing forward sustainable and green transportation solutions. 
GB Auto will continue to integrate ESG factors in everything we do to grow our business while having a meaningful and lasting impact on society. Therefore, green energy, digitalization, and the expansion of sustainable mobility and responsible finance are vital in our transition to a better future and strengthening our position in the market over the next decade. I would like to take this opportunity to record my deepest appreciation and gratitude to my team who have helped contribute to this prestigious award. And thank you once again, Sprouts and Sullivan, for recognizing what we do here at GB Auto. Congratulations once again to GB Auto. Back to you, Renita. Thank you, Gabriella. Our next award recipient is a leading cloud computing and ICT solutions provider. People, community, environment, and ethics are strongly embedded in their culture. Through their unique five-point sustained program, the company has pledged to achieve net zero emissions by 2032. Demonstrating technical excellence and high rates of customer success, the company operates with high levels of integrity. In 2022, the company recorded a 12.1% growth in revenue, which clearly demonstrates the successful combination of business acumen with socially responsible growth. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Data Suite. Accepting the award for Data 3, we have Lawrence Benham, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director. Hello, I'm Lawrence Benham, CEO and Managing Director of Data 3. Data 3 is a $2 billion leading Australian IT services and solution provider. We're focused on helping our customers delivering the digital future. In addition, we're 45 years old and one of the first IT companies to list on the Australian Stock Exchange. We commit to a sustainable and environmental social and governance framework that supports our stakeholders and enhances our corporate social responsibility. The foundation of our program consists of four pillars, people, community, ethics and environment. Every day and every year, it is our aim to improve and become a better business. Our latest sustainability report contains many actions and initiatives, and I'd like to share some of the highlights. Firstly, Data3 is committed to achieving net zero emissions before the Brisbane 2032 Olympic Games. Secondly, Data3 was named as the winner of the 2022 Employer of Choice Award by the HRD organization. Our people are the heartbeat of our business and to receive this external award for the seventh year in a row is a testament to our great team. Data3 took steps to become an accredited family inclusive workplace. To create a culture where people feel supported, in particular, 56% of our people are balancing caring and family responsibilities. In light of the reported increase in domestic and family violence incidents across Australia, in 2022, Data3 changed our policy to support the domestic and family violence victims. And lastly, we're pleased to announce a reconciliation action plan that helps Data3 take a meaningful action to provide greater equity amongst our First Nations people. On behalf of Data3, we are delighted to be the recipient of the 2022 Enlightened Growth Leadership Award by the Frost and Sullivan Institute. We look forward to continuing our work in harnessing the power of people and technology for a better future. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring words and congratulations on this award. Over to you once again, Renita, to present the next award. Thank you, Gabriella. Headquartered in India, our next awardee is a leading power transmission company. 
The company is at the forefront of several innovative initiatives, such as setting up India's first private ultra mega solar project and building the country's longest extra high voltage direct current transmission line. The company is committed to becoming net zero by 2050 by increasing the share of renewable energy to 60% over the next five years. Achieving 0% hazardous waste at all its ports and composing all organic waste is further testament to the company's commitment to innovating waste to zero. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Adani Transmission Limited. With us today for Adani Transmission is Rohit Sani, Chief Financial Officer. On behalf of our employees, associates, board and promoters, I wish to thank the jury for bestowing this very special recognition on Adani Transmission Limited. I am informed that ATL has been shortlisted from a wide universe of more than 6,000 companies that were evaluated by Frost & Sullivan. This is a great recognition of our growth strategy, which is fully integrated with responsive environmental and social responsibilities. We are humbled by this recognition and commit to exhibit enhanced resolve year and after. As you are aware, ATL is in the business of transmitting bulk electrons on large corridors and is also distributing electrons to the last mile in India. It has exhibited a rare combination of build well, run well and skim well. ATL is consistently benchmarking to be the best in class and is pursuing discipline growth with strategic and operational de-risk. Capital conservatism, maintaining high credit quality with pursuit through business excellence, maintaining high governance standards. As a demonstration of our ESG commitment, we have taken some path-breaking initiatives at ATL. Significant increase of renewable component in our bulk power procurement mix at Mumbai Retail Distribution Business, 60% by FI27, exhibiting commitment towards SDG 7. Reduce GHG emission intensity by 40% by FI25 and 60% by FI29, uh, SDG 30. Achieved zero waste to landfill at all our ONM sites. Achieve single use plastic free and water neutrality at all sites by FI23. ATL is committed to develop transmission infrastructure to channelize green power to the Mumbai periphery and enhance distribution infrastructure to integrate renewable power and improve reliability of power to the consumers in Mumbai and Mundra. The commitment has been funded by unique green bond, green loan and sustainability linked issuances subscribed through international capital markets and international banks. At ATL, the pursuit of robust ESG framework and practicing safety first culture is integral to our pursuit of enhanced long-term value creation for all our stakeholders. 
Thank you, Rohit, and congratulations once again. We're now halfway through the awards ceremony, and I hope you're all enjoying the event. If you've just joined us, we are celebrating the best of the best in Enlightened Growth Leadership at our 2022 Virtual Awards Ceremony. Tonight is a celebration of many individuals, the employees, customers and investors who have and continue to make critical decisions every single day to drive growth and meaningfully contribute to the future in a sustainable and socially responsible way. Moving on to our next set of awards, please welcome Nicholas Botano, Associate Partner Frost and Sullivan, who joins us all the way from beautiful Sofia Antipolis, France. Take it away, Nico. Thank you, thank you very much, Gabriella, and good afternoon, everyone. I am delighted to introduce our next award recipient. This company is the largest producer of sustainable wood pellets at global level and a leader in sustainable wood bioenergy. Gross excellence is at the heart of company's vision. In 2021, the company recorded a 20% increase in revenue year over year. Committed to innovating direct emissions to zero, the company is defined to decarbonize its natural gas-related emissions. This is expected to offset an additional 75% of direct emissions from its manufacturing operations and eliminate more than 64 metric tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Enviva. Accepting the award for Inviva, we are joined by Thomas Meth, Executive Vice President, Sales and Marketing. I'm proud to accept this award on behalf of our associates, our customers, our communities, and all of our stakeholders who have joined together in their commitment to combat climate change and to create a better, sustainable future. Going forward, we will continue to decarbonize supply chains across the world. We will find innovative biomass-based solutions for hard to abate industries like cement, steel and lime, as well as sustainable aviation fuels. In addition, we will continue to decarbonize our own supply chains to create real net zero solutions for our customers and the world. I'm proud to receive this award on behalf of the associates at Enviva. Congratulations team Enviva. Back to you Nico to introduce our next award recipient. Thank you very much Gabriel. Rethinking the world of communications, empowering businesses and enabling modern workforce, our next award recipient is a renowned cloud-based communication solution provider. With over 774 patents, this company is a leader in technology innovation in the software as a service industry. The company is aligned with four of the 17 sustainable development goals and provides employment opportunities without discrimination. The company has designed its IT policy with customer data integrity at its core with its products helping prevent the emission of over 39,000 kilos of greenhouse gases, our next award truly demonstrates strong business acumen with a moral imperative. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Ring Central. We are joined by Sonali Parekh, Chief Financial Officer. 
On behalf of Ring Central, we're truly honored to receive the 2022 Enlightened Growth Leadership Award from the Frost and Sullivan Institute. At Ring Central, we understand our responsibility as corporate citizens and believe in the potential of businesses to make the world a better place. This award recognizes that rapid growth and doing good are not mutually exclusive. It's a time of unprecedented change brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, a social reckoning, and the immediate threat of climate change. Employees, customers, and partners are calling on businesses to stand up and do their part in creating a brighter future for generations to come. At Ring Central, we're committed and ready for the challenge. As a leading provider of cloud communications, we're at the forefront of the shift to hybrid work. By combining our commitments to technology, innovation, and global causes, we are breaking down barriers to simplify communications and reimagine how businesses operate. Our business has been growing very strongly, but we've been super thoughtful about protecting our people and the planet every step of the way. We're working on integrating environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, into our business strategy by formalizing our ESG program across our global business, by building on our industry-leading data privacy and security program, also expanding our sustainability goals by putting a climate strategy and carbon reduction plan in place. We're continuing to explore ways to leverage our technology to help underserved community, communities, focusing on building diversity while supporting the well-being of our employees and importantly, activating the passion of our employees to do their part in helping our planet. We're delighted our leadership in this area has been recognized with this award, and we're eager to continue doing good business while doing good by our employees, our communities, our stakeholders, and the planet. Congratulations to you, Son Ali, and the entire team at Ring Central. For the next award, I'd like to invite Global Vice President Frost and Sullivan, Shawanda Roberts. The floor is all yours, Shawanda. Thank you, Gabriella, and greetings from San Antonio, Texas. It is my pleasure to announce our next award recipient. This company has been a pioneer in the Indian chemicals market. Not only is the company the only Indian manufacturer of ozone-friendly refrigerant, but its reduced micron packaging film offer a minimal carbon footprint. This company is a champion of social inclusion and has provided employment opportunities without discrimination. For its demonstrated social responsibility and growth excellence, Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate SRF. Assessing the award for SRF Limited, we have with us Chairman and Managing Director Ashish Bharatram. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking the Frost and Sullivan Institute for bestowing this honor on us. On behalf of the 7,000 plus employees at SRF, it is indeed uh, a privilege to have received this award. Over the years, SRF has transformed from a commodity company to a company that is now knowledge driven. Um, we have uh, got more than 400 people working in our R&D where we are now working on developing process patents in a wide range of our chemical space. Uh, while we're doing all this, we're also doing this keeping in mind the entire uh, spectrum of sustainability. Uh, we are making sure that uh, as we grow the chemical business, we have to do it in a manner where uh, generations ahead will know that we've done it in a responsible manner. The core of everything that we do at SRF is linked to our values and amongst them is um, also making sure that we take care of the society around us. Uh, we do that through our, our foundation where we have worked with 
uh, hundreds of rural uh, schools in the on, in rural India, um, improving their quality of education. Um, for us, uh, anything that we do has to be done on a holistic basis. Uh, going forward, I can assure everyone in the audience that this will remain at the uh, root of everything that we do in SRF. Uh, once again, thank you for having bestowed this honor on us and I assure you that in years to come we will only move forward in a responsible and sustainable manner. Thank you. Thank you for that and congratulations once again. Back to you Shawanda to present our next recipient. Thanks, Gabriella. Our next recipient is a leader in EdTech and a manufacturer of visual collaboration products. Leveraging technology and innovation, it has an excellent array of smart solutions. The company prides itself on using green components for product design and green materials for manufacturing. They optimize their product design to meet the requirements stipulated in the energy-related product directive and meet the reuse, recycle, and recovery requirements in the Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Directive. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Avery. Please welcome Arthur Pate, President Aver. Thank you, Frost and Sullivan, for the honor of winning this Enlightened Growth Leadership Awards. It means a great deal to Aver. Well, first of all, we all know Frost and Sullivan as an industry leader who recognizes the market trend and empowers innovative companies. But most of all, this award recognizes the area that is very close to our heart. That is the leadership to nurture not only sustainable growth and innovation, but also the commitment to address the global priorities such as the well-being of plant growth. While at Avery, we are very passionate about using technology innovations to enrich learning and improve communication. In addition, we are very dedicated to generating quality, corporate social responsibility, and environmental protection. And our business culture is very simple. We strongly believe in being down to earth, create value, devote ourselves to the society. In recent years, we partnered with Microsoft and Zoom, participating in their platform to empower work from home effectiveness, distance learning environment in education, and telemedicine education. It has always been our dream to use technology innovation to not only improve the communications and learning, but also at the same time, lowering down the carbon emission for the planet. So thank you Frost and Sullivan for this recognition. It is my honor to accept this award on behalf of my chairman, my CEO, and the whole Aver team around the globe. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations once again. Take it away, Shawanda. Thanks again, Gabriella. A signatory to the British Retail Consortium's Climate Action Roadmap Goal of Net Zero 2040, our next recipient is a well-recognized name in the electrical home appliance retail. Cleaning and refining plastics at its waste electrical and electronic equipment facilities, it transforms them into high-quality reusable products. With a target of operating with 100% LED coverage at its new sites by 2025, it intends to run entirely on renewable energy by 2030. With sales increasing more than 52% over the last two years, this company is truly an enlightened growth leader. Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate AO World. Accepting the award on behalf of AO World is Founder CEO John Roberts. Unfortunately, owing to his schedule, John cannot be with us today, but he did share a short note. 
please allow me to present this on his behalf. Thanks to the Frost and Sullivan Institute for recognizing the AO team with this Enlightened Growth Leadership Award. And now moving on to the final segment of this celebration. This is a very special set of awardees. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out, said Robert Collier. Embodying the essence of the Frost and Sullivan Institute, this set of companies consistently deliver on their commitment to moving the world in the right direction through repeated efforts of innovating some of the biggest challenges we face today to zero. The leadership teams of these companies continue to inspire and for this have been awarded with the Enlightened Group Leadership Award for the second year in a row. To honor the special group of awardees, may I now invite Arup Zucci, Global Managing Partner, Frost & Sullivan, and Director, Frost & Sullivan Institute, who joins us all the way from California. A very warm welcome to you, Arup. Thank you, Gabriela. It is my honor to close the ceremony with this special group of awardees. The first repeat recipient of the Enlightened Growth Leadership Award is a global leader in advanced business solutions. With revenue growth of over 20% in 2021, the company has been able to use a combination of smart acquisitions and development of a new range of solutions to fuel their growth in the market. 26% of the company's revenue in 2021 has been directed towards sustainable development goals-driven initiatives. The company is a flag bearer of diversity and inclusion in the outsourcing industry. In its bid to innovate in equity to zero, the company aims to increase the presence of women in its executive committee to 30% by 2030. The company has also been able to reduce the carbon footprint of each employee by approximately 15%. For the second year running, Frost & Sullivan Institute and Frost & Sullivan congratulate Teleperformance. Thank you, Frost & Sullivan, for this very special award, and congratulations as well to the other awardees. We are so proud to stand with you and many NGOs in protecting our planet and communities. At Teleperformance, we are a people-first company, and we truly believe in giving back. The more we grow, the more we give. We are only 10 people by getting started a few decades ago, and now we are one of the largest and most diverse private employers in the world with more than 420,000 people and 100 nationalities. Since 2006, through our Citizen of the World initiative, we have been able to raise more than $60 million in cash and in-kind donations in support to local communities, specifically focusing on disaster relief, children's survival and education programs. In 2022, we have partnered with UNICEF and International Red Cross in support of Ukraine refugees and childhood education and we do not stop there. We have committed to be carbon neutral by 2040. That's 10 years ahead of the Paris Agreement. We've also secured recently a partnership with One Tree Planted in support of biodiversity, where we have committed to plant 500,000 green trees across five continents and launch a special challenge to reach one million trees together. Thank you again, Frost and Sullivan, and thank you as well to all of the TP employees who make this program happen and volunteer thousands of hours per year in support of our communities and planet. Thank you. Congratulations on this repeat honor. Arup, back to you. Thank you, Gabriela. A global leader vector, our next award recipient is committed to making healthcare accessible to all. This company's concerted stride towards sustainability has earned them this recognition for a second time in a row. In 2021, the company's total scope one and two emissions from its operations saw a 0.4% decrease 
compared with 2020. They have also enabled environmental and social sustainability to the implementation of over 200 energy conservation projects with 8,800 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent of greenhouse gas emissions being avoided annually. For the second consecutive year, Frost and Sullivan Institute and Frost and Sullivan congratulate Paxton. Jose Almeida, Chairman, President and CEO of Baxter, could not join us today, but has shared a few words. Allow me to share his acceptance speech. Baxter's unwavering dedication to responsible corporate citizenship is at the heart of our mission to save and sustain lives. Across our 90-year history, we have worked to improve the health of patients, protect the planet and support the well-being of our employees and the communities we serve globally. I salute Baxter teams around the world whose passion powers our performance in line with our environmental, social and governance priorities and whose collective efforts are recognized by the Frost and Sullivan Institute's 2022 Enlightened Growth Leadership Award. Congratulations once again. Now for our final award, let me hand it back to our group. Thanks again, Gabriela. Our final recipient for the evening, also a second time awardee, stands out for its continued commitment to the energy revolution while continuing to transform the power industry. Demonstrating robust growth, the company's worldwide revenues improved by 21% in 2021. The awardee has invested around 20 million in over 155 greenhouse gas production projects. In 2022, its global packaging waste reduction projects are expected to reduce nearly 1.3 million pounds of waste. The company is a strong advocate for gender and racial equality, focusing on reform and social fairness. For the inspiring work that they continue to do, Frost and Sullivan Institute and Frost and Sullivan congratulate comments. With us from Cummins today is Executive Director Global Enterprise Risk, Taryn Maggett. My name is Terry Maggett, Executive Director of Enterprise Risk Management at Cummins Inc., where ESG strategy is core to my responsibilities. I want to thank the Frost and Sullivan Institute for this honor. For over 100 years, Cummins has been a leader in providing power solutions in the commercial vehicle, marine, and mining spaces, as well as providing platforms for electric power generation. Environment, social, and governance has been part of our DNA for decades and shows up in our current mission of making people's lives better by powering a more prosperous world. By more prosperous, we mean clean air, clean water, like we used to enjoy as children and what we hope our children will enjoy in the future. Climate change is both an existential threat, but also an opportunity. And we would like to acknowledge and thank Frost and Sullivan Institute for their leadership and others for being involved in doing the important work of solving the challenge of climate change. On behalf of Jennifer Rumsey, our CEO, and 60,000 employees around the world, we thank you. Thank you and congratulations once again. With that, we come to the end of Frost and Sullivan Institute's 2022 Enlightened Growth Leadership Virtual Awards Ceremony. Please, let's give these inspiring companies a big round of applause. <laughs> to close the celebration, I would now like to again invite Arup Zucchi. Over to you, Arup. Let me first start by congratulating all the winners and thank you all for joining us this evening to honor 
the Enlightened Growth Leadership Award recipients. We have seen the world facing incredible number of global challenges and it is so heartening to see companies that are recognized today and many more that are making a huge difference in making this plan a better place and better place for the next generations. Many companies all over the world are embracing this concept of innovating the zero. And what they are doing is not only helping make the environment better, reduce the carbon emissions, but they're also innovating to zero. Access to internet, infrastructure, making healthcare accessible and affordable, and more importantly, education accessible and affordable to people. And they've done it in a variety of different ways. And what we are seeing is, with the work that they are doing, a lot of that is now being leveraged by other companies in the world to make a dent in the universe. We know growth is a difficult thing to achieve. Companies find it extremely difficult to grow, even though growth remains the number one objective. In fact, 93% of CEOs in large companies, in mid-sized companies, small companies, indicate that growth is their number one objective. But we know how difficult it is to grow. At the same time, to meet these ob objectives and obligations and to grow is incredibly powerful. And the companies that we recognize today have not only grown, but they've done it in a very responsible way. Our enlightened growth leadership recognition is not just about ESG, it's not just about CSR, but it's about driving and innovating many of the challenges the planet faces to zero. So let's come together, let's learn from each other, let's share our best practices, and together we can all collectively make a dent to the universe. At the Frost and Selman Institute, we are committed and we are motivated to do this. Me and my team are available to support you in your journey to make this plan a better place. So come, let's make a difference and make a small dent in the universe. And I hope to see all of you again next year. Thank you and best wishes to all. Thank you, Arup, for closing this event on a high. We're certainly all committed to making a dent in the universe. Let's hear it once again for these outstanding companies who have received their awards this evening. We hope you keep inspiring. I would also like to express my appreciation to all our fantastic viewers, esteemed award recipients, and presenters for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend this virtual awards ceremony. We hope you enjoyed your evening and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, on behalf of Frost and Sullivan Institute, we'd like to thank each of you for all you are doing to make a difference. Thank you for watching. I'm Gabriella and it's been a pleasure. See you next year.